Welcome back to Chattanooga Hospitals at odds over filling a gap in mental health care. Park Ridge Valley doesn't want Erlinger to build a new mental health facility. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence joins us now to tell us why Park Ridge filed an appeal with the state. Hannah. Calvin and Latricia, whether someone's addicted to drugs, suicidal, or dealing with a mix of disorders, Erlinger says their new mental health facility would be there to serve those people. The hospital says patients are currently clogging up emergency rooms and not getting the help they need. Need. After a unanimous approval by a state board to build the new facility in August, construction will now be delayed for several months. This vacant lot at the corner of Holtzclaw and Sitco Avenues will stay empty a little longer. A lot of people are going to fall through the hoops and it's not just fall through the hoops. Uh, they go a month and their cancer gets worse. No, they jump off a bridge. In this video Erlanger provided to us, they asked a recovering patient about the need for the new center. Tracy Rutledge says she waited for years for behavioral health help. It had to become a crisis before uh, I, w I was able to receive any care. Senior Vice President at Erlanger Joe Winnick says that overwhelming need is what Erlanger is trying to put a dent in. And other providers are either unwilling or unable to serve the same patient population that we would serve. Park Ridge Valley's appeal claims the new facility isn't the right fit for the community and there won't be enough trained medical staff to cover all the facilities. Their website shows it already has two similar Similar campuses just three years old. This is not about taking patients from Moccasin Bend or Park Ridge, it's about serving the underserved and the unserved. By underserved and unserved, Winnick says he means the people who cannot afford to go to a private hospital for care. He says the Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies have traveled a combined 65,000 miles in the last year, transporting mental health patients stuck on wait lists to other cities. Winnick says the proposed new facility would be opened by a public company called Acadia using no funds from taxpayers to construct the building. Then Erlanger would help operate the facility as part of a public hospital, meaning even those without insurance could go there for care. Calvin. Thanks, Anna. The Council for Drugs and Alcohol Services also opposed Erlanger's plan at first, but then after Erlanger received approval for it, Cadiz said they would move forward with support. The center was originally supposed to be open by the end of next year. Winnick says the appeal could delay the project by six to nine months. 